All right, guys. Whoa, can I zoom out? Whoa, cool. New phone. Um, anyway, what's up, guys? Happy, what is this, Wednesday? I've lost track of time. Uh, got back from my vacation yesterday morning from the red eye, so uh, just getting over that. But I had a lot of really cool mail waiting for me, um, including some auction wins, grading results, um, and otherwise. So let's go through it. Um, this I'm very excited about. Um, an incredibly sharp and well-centered 1976 tops George Brett. Um, just a killer card. I got this from a small auction, and um, I think I'll do pretty well in this card. Definitely the best Brett I've ever had, for sure, from 76. Um, this next little bit um, was from some auction purchases that I'll highlight here. Um, best card... Best condition card, I would say, is this 67 Tops Banks from this little three card lot. It's also a 57 and a 60. Um, first time I've ever had one of these before. 64 Stand Up Harmon Killebrew. Um, very cool card. Um, you know, I've seen them on you know Facebook and YouTube and eBay and et cetera. Um, my first time ever having one of these. Um, they are pretty delicate, so handle them with caution. And with care. Um, yeah, that's all, that's what I'll say about that. Um, this really sharp um, Yuga Rookie. I'm very excited about this card. Um, this will be sent to SGC, I think, this week. I'll send it. Um, but just a stunner. For a 62, this is really, really nice. Um, this one I'm really excited about, too. Um, 66 Philadelphia Gale Sayers autograph rookie card. What I don't like at all is this stupid fucking sticker they put on it. Um, this was not in the auction photos, but was described that it was certified by Beckett. And so I had, um, you know, a thought that this might be the case. Opened the package yesterday and there it was. Um, however, the card um, is in decent shape. It's probably like a f in the four range. Um, maybe it'll... No, it's probably a four, but the signature is really nice and well-placed. Um, and then the last pickup from these auctions is this very cool exhibit of Harmon Killebrew with an I. Um, so he has three different um, poses with the exhibit series. Um, I have to see exactly when this was printed. Um, I have to think this is an earlier career image and exhibit of him. Um, cause I didn't know how to spell his name. Um, but this is, uh, in exceptional condition. Um, it is a pop three with none higher. Um, so that's a, just a really cool card of his. Um, and one that I'm really enjoying. This next little lot I bought while out on vacation. Um, it was a lot of three 1929 exhibit Ferran ones. Um, they all have the postcard back, which I think is really cool. Um, this one, they're all common players. This one I, I like a lot. It has um, Lefty O'Doul here. Again, postcard back. Pay no attention to the price. This is an old holder from something else. Um, and then here is our Hall of Famer, Travis Jackson with Fred Lindstrom, who was another player in the 30s for the Giants. Um, but really cool. Postcard back. Um, so that's the raw stuff. For graded, um, I sent off two different orders, one really small one. Actually, they're both pretty small. Um, this one's for the PC. I may have shown this in a video already. Um, but really solid grade on this card. I was expecting, um, you know, in the four to five range. The corners are a little touched up, but I think if I send this to PSA, I think they'd probably give it a five. Um, but a really solid card. Um, I was looking for another one for the collection for some time, and that one definitely fits the bill. This one I'm a little bummed about. It's a really sharp Mel Ott. I bought this at the Philly show in December. Um... And it came back evidence of trimming. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, 
it's a bummer, but you know, I, I trust, you know, SGC's eye. So that was that the, f the second order was what I got. What I, I guess my, one of my last videos before I left, um, sent off these, they all pretty much got exactly what I expected them to. Um, this Barra has really nice centering and good color. So I'm happy about that. Um, Lou Groza, 50 Bowman Rookie. This got a two. Really just the centering and the corners. I don't think this card has a crease or a wrinkle. Mm. But I had to do a lot of research on these 50 Bowman um, cards. I My 50s football knowledge is pretty limited. Um, YA Tittle has a few surface indentations, so was totally expecting a one, um, which is fine, but really cool card. Um, the like perspective of this image is quite weird. Um, but what can you do? Uh, this was definitely the highlight. Uh, gorgeous. Totally expected the one with the creases, you know, the crease here and the wrinkle through. Um, you know, his face, but, uh, centering the color is really nice. It also has a 42 written in the top right corner there, but, uh, you know, what can you say? Great looking card. Uh, last card in the order was a Marion Motley rookie and it got a two and a half. I was expecting a little bit higher, but on further examination, there is a wrinkle here that kind of like breaks the paper. Um, so I think this card's graded accurately. Great card of a Hall of Famer, though. A rookie card, rather. Um, so yeah, that is it. Um, I'm in the midst of, uh, kind of getting through a larger, a large project. Um, but I have a show coming up this weekend in New Jersey. And then first I'm setting up at a flea market here in New York, um, on Sunday. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and, uh... When I have more share, more to share regarding this little project, I will. Um, but for now, um, until it's all kind of getting going and able to be shared in a easier fashion, um, I will do so. But cool things to come, guys! Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one.